back to another video. This is part two from the first part of the unboxing. Now we're going to go ahead and swatch them. So if you're just tuning in, you guys, we have unboxed these. And if you're curious to see what is in here, you can go back and check it out from the start. If you want to catch up with us, but go ahead and start doing the swatching and seeing the effects of these. And I described in the last video what these are and how to use these. So we're going to go ahead and demonstrate them. And if you want to know a little bit more about these um, and you're just getting into nails, then go back to that last video and check that out. We're going to start with the blooming gel. And this one is from Rosie Land. So it is affordable. It is less than a month's wait. So this ships really fast, especially when you buy bundles of their product. They ship in two weeks almost. We have some swatch sticks to bring out the effect of these and I have these other black swatch sticks also for the spider gels right into the blooming hollow dye effect blooming gel effect I think that's how you say it, the blooming effect and it is clear looks like clear liquid looks like like a water consistency we're just gonna place that on the swatch stick here these are stiletto swatch sticks that I bought from AliExpress also. So if you are interested in getting some of these, they're really affordable guys from the seller that I got them from. So I'll make sure to link it down below if you would like to get some for yourself. This is two, 273 and 281. These are like the low numbers compared to the other ones are in like the 500s. So we'll swatch this one first. Oh, it looks pink. Let's see. Whoa. Yep. Do y'all see that? I don't know if you can see. That's how it's looking. Hey guys so we are back and you guys can see that I did wipe it off a bit so I did smear the transparent nail swatch but I'm gonna have to use a white base coat is what it tells us to do so I'm using this kiss gel polish as our white base coat and uh, <laughs> you see how it just happened hold on let's wipe it off okay so I wiped the entire nail off with alcohol as you guys can see it smudged and it turned matte when I put the color on top kind of like kind of like soft matte and streaky but I'm just gonna go over it with the white polish and we're gonna create this blooming effect and see how it goes so I am going to wipe my brush off a little bit here because it did get some of that pink color on there and I want my white to turn pink. So wipe your brush down and we're going to go ahead and cure her really quick. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some white coating on here so that we'll be curing these as we go okay so we're going to be curing those in the meantime, we're going to put this a little bit further from the light. And I'm going to use this to start off with. And then we'll use the other Roseland one. So I am going to push my LED light a little bit away. So that it doesn't cure it instantly. Because these do cure. Alright, so I'm just going to place that on here. 
and this one is a bit thick. I will link these down below where I got the actual clear to create this effect. You guys let me know which one do you guys think works the best. So we're going to have to cure this 30 seconds. Rosilam Blooming Hollow Dye, which is 12 millimeters, and this is 8 millimeters. So we're going to test these two out and see which one works the best. It's like nice, matty, kind of. So we're going to go ahead and put this one on here. And then we're going to throw her in the lamp to cure. You can see it's kind of picking up the white color. So I do want to wipe that off a little bit. I did pump some alcohol to be able to help take that polish off. And then we're going to use the 273 color which is this one here. That's how it looks. You guys see this? This is like really cool. A mixture, marbled kind of. And then we can probably like stray some white lines. Super pretty. So let's go ahead and see what happens if we apply if we apply some, let's close this because I don't want this to spill. We apply some of this here. What happens? If we apply this, looks like nothing's happening. Let's see what happens here. It's more vibrant here. You can definitely see this color. Much more brighter. It's like it was first pink and now it turned purple. So we're going to dip some of this on top. Let's see what happens. So I feel like this kind of creates that light kind of pink when we tap it on here. So you guys can see. So that's pretty cool. This one is the HNM which does a really good job and it looks really good. It's a very small bottle but look at the effect you guys. I like that. So then we can just top coat it um, with some uh, gel top coat or regular top coat but I prefer to close it in with gel top coat so it is completely sealed as you guys can see it's it's a little streaky for me this is like you splatted paintballs on here um, but it's very pigmented way more pigmented than the other one so I guess it's up to you. How would you like your inks to come out looking or 
you know. So let's go ahead and just watch the other ones. We're gonna use Roseland because Roseland is the one that is supposed to be provided with these to be able to create this effect. So let's use this one. That one, so we're gonna move on to 181 and then 581.
Alright you guys, so we're down to our last one. This is a 590. Let's see what happens. But it's not that bad. It just smells like I've never smelled this before. So we're gonna see. It's kind of coming out like green, black, it's like a mixture of green and gray. A bit of darkness in there. Doesn't look completely black right now, but I think if we just let it set for a little bit and go over it one more time. It will look black. This is how it's looking right now. And it brings some back here. That's how it looks. Just for experiment reasons, I do want to try the H&M Gel Polish Blooming Gel with the black ink to see how it would turn out. up to you guys what do you guys like because this one's a bit more uh, brighter and this is a bit more darker uh, of a deep color on this one so this is Roseland and this is the H&M so and they're both uh, used for blooming gel 590 back and see what happens so I did care for a full 60 seconds So this is how it looks and it does have texture inside the nail. I don't know if you guys can see that but it's a really nice effect versus the one we just had here with Roseland. So these are definitely different textures on the nail using different uh, blooming gels. So this is this is H&M and this is Roseland. This gives us like an army texture and this one gives us like a nice granite marble texture. And it's the same ink so it's it's pretty different. Alright so this is how she looks you guys. Um, she's definitely a pigmented color uh, but it's I don't know. It, it it doesn't it doesn't really look as it's supposed to. So I'm not sure. We have both of the products on the nail, so Rosilina is under and H N M is on top. Um, but yeah, this is how they would work, and these are the swatches here, you guys. This is H and M. And then the rest of these are Roseland. So you guys let me know down below which one do you guys like the most. And personally, I think this yellow is definitely calling my name. It's like a gray black. But um, this one definitely did give a good effect out. And yeah, these are, these are pretty cool. 
So I'm going to keep on playing with these and seeing what type of kind of like designs I can make with these using this uh, ice flower liquid. And these products will be linked down below. I do have a new package also which I will be sharing with you guys. So as soon as I get around to it, I will make sure to post that right after filming. So just a sneak peek. This is how it looks. So it's it's a little bit big. We have like a couple products inside. Um, and it is from AliExpress, you guys. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. Let me know if you guys played with Blooming Gel before and how do you use it um, and all that good stuff. I definitely would like some uh, input from you guys. If you guys have Lumi Gel, and that's pretty much it. I'll catch y'all in the next one.